Hi everyone. So I'm sitting here in my car and I'm waiting for it to warm up a little bit before I head out. I've got a couple errands to run. I have to mail out some thank you cards to a couple of you guys. I want to, I should mention real quick. Thank you, Paul. Um, I got your package. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Peck. Uh, I got your birthday card and gift. Thank you so much. Um, it amazes me that you guys remember my birthday's in February. <laughs> um, Emily sent a birthday gift too. I think I already said thanks to Emily, Laura, and Natalie for their gifts too. Um, I'm not gonna be able to share them on camera. Um, I'm just making this quick video since I'm sitting here in my car. Um, wanted to let you guys know that Grant and Mickey are still doing good today. Um, Grant actually did his happy dance uh, when I was getting their breakfast uh, ready this morning. And he actually was barking to get in the house so he could eat his breakfast. He hasn't done that in a while. Do I got a piece of hair? Oh yeah, I got some hair hanging. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. Um, I tried to uh, put on some makeup today and make myself look a little presentable. So I've looked rough the past couple of days. Um, so yeah, so they're doing good today. Um, hopefully you guys, if you're on Facebook, do I have any more hair hanging? No, I don't think I do. <laughs> Sorry guys. Sorry to, it's distracting to look at yourself and videotape. Um, and you see every little bit of imperfection. So, um, they're doing good today. I, oh, I hope you guys, if you're on Facebook, you're following us on our, our Schnauzer Mom Facebook page. And if, you're, you're, if you don't have a Facebook page, please check the community uh, page on our YouTube channel. Because it is so much easier for me to uh, keep you guys updated on what's going on. Um, so... Um, just wanted to mention because I've got a lot I mean and I also want to say I I have not been able to respond to all the comments I have a ton of comments a ton of messages a ton of emails um it's really hard right now to respond to, to every single comment and message um so just wanted to let you guys know that don't think I'm ignoring you I am trying to read all of them however um just wanted to mention that no, I do not know why uh, Grant got his pancreatitis and then Miggy got sick too. Miggy, I think, is due to stress because dogs can get it for a lot of different reasons. Um, I really think Miggy came down with it because I was so stressed out and I was so emotional. I think I've mentioned it on the channel before that... Miggy and I are like one. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but he, it's like, he knows what I'm saying to him. He feels all my emotions. Um, we're just bonded that way. A uh, Miggy and I, unlike with the other boys. Um, it's really weird. <laughs> it's like my spirit animal. <laughs> um, so I really, I really feel that's why Mickey got sick too. Um, Grant could be because of his old age. And like I said, he was sick in December. And I don't know if he's had pancreatitis. He's had pancreatitis before um, when he was going through his, I think it was his gallbladder surgery, before his gallbladder surgery. So all of that could have caused him to have a pancreatitis attack. And then in December, I think it probably was. I don't know why they didn't test it for him um, back then. Um, and then I don't know his health history before we rescued him. So, um, yeah, so I think everything going on with him and us also, um, talking to the doctor and we believe he has Alzheimer's. So all that stress too on him. He, you guys know that he paces. I've mentioned that many times. We talked to the doctor more, um, last time he was in with his pancreatitis when we had to take him back in. Um, we've really never discussed it before with the vet too much because we just thought it was just old age. Um, but almost everything he's going through, it's Alzheimer's. So maybe that, him feeling, getting lost sometimes, like sometimes he'll be in the yard and he just stares at the fence. He doesn't, I don't think he remembers where he is or, or and then he don't, he doesn't know which way to come back uh, to the door. Um, just a lot. Uh, 
almost every symptom of Alzheimer's Grant has. So I'm wondering if maybe the confusion from that and things going on caused a lot of stress on him and maybe that's what caused his. I, I'm, I'm not sure because a lot of you have mentioned, me, did you start a new bag of food? Um, I have not given him any new treats that are higher in fat or anything like that. Nothing's changed. I didn't start any new bags of food. They're eating the same food they have been eating. So I really don't think it's that. And I do want to mention I, on my Facebook page, I posted a uh, calculator that um, will give you the true fat content of your pet's food or treats. So you may want to check that out. I'll link it in the description box below too. Um, it's called dry, dry matter content. Um, so you put in the guaranteed analysis uh, percentages that they give you on the back of the packages and then it will calculate it and tell you what the true percentages are on there. Um, so um, like I said, I'll link it down below. Um, uh, but I do want to mention to Paul and to anybody who's thinking about sending the boys treats, I unfortunately, if you send treats, cannot give them to the boys anymore. I'm not giving them um, manufactured treats anymore. Um, they've been getting green beans. I just buy a bag of frozen green beans to thaw some, put them in the fridge. And so they've been getting green beans for a treat. And I bought some uh, crinkle cut uh, frozen carrots. And I just thaw those because the baby carrots are too hard for... Uh, Miggy and Milo really to chew. They're too hard because um, as you know, Miggy and Milo barely, they don't have many teeth left. So I just bought them the crink crinkle cut carrots. Um, they're like little discs, uh, skinny discs and they're soft so they can chew them really good. Um, Miggy right now is eating the food that Mr. Grant eats, the gas, Royal Canaan gastrointestinal low fat uh, formula prescription food and I've been mixing it with water to make the food absorb all the water so it's really soft and a lot um, easier for them to digest plus it adds some hydration to them when dogs have pancreatitis you got to make sure they are being hydrated and I've been I've got a little syringe I've been getting water and I've been squirting water in their mouth constantly <laughs> to make sure they're getting enough fluids throughout the day they hate me for it Mr. Grant really hates me for it. Mickey's really hating me for it too. <laughs> um, but what else did I want to answer? There's so many questions from you guys and now I just can't think of them. Um, so yeah, but they're doing good today. Like I said, Grant had a little bit more pep in his stuff today. Um, so that's very exciting. I don't think Miggy's had a normal, he hasn't pooped since uh, he had his bloody diarrhea. Ooh, it was I almost passed out when I saw it. Um, it was really bad. Um, but it's today's day three since all that happened with Miggy. Um, I'm hope he could have went, um, but because I'm watching Grant too, Miggy could have pooped and I didn't see it. And if he did, there's no diary in the yard. All the poops have looked normal. So, but I'm not sure if he's went yet. So I've really today been trying to keep an eye on him to see if he's pooping or not. So, um, yeah, Grant, he hasn't thrown up. He hasn't had any um, diarrhea. So the real test will be when Grant, Grant has stopped his antibiotic. He took all his antibiotics. Miggy still has a couple days left with that. So the real, and then they have their serenia. I think they both have two days left. So the real test is gonna be when they stop that serenia, which is an anti-nausea medication, um, is the throwing up and the poop's going to start again. Let's pray it doesn't. Oh yes, let's pray it doesn't. Um, oh, and I wanted to mention to try to help my stress levels. Um, I've been taking little short walks. Sometimes I'll just come sit in my car, get on the phone. Um, just trying to get away from the situation. Trying to keep the stress level down in the household for Mickey. Um, and all the other dogs because oh my goodness if this happens with any of the other dogs I don't know what I'll do <laughs> I don't know what I'll do um so yeah I just been trying to get out of the house just go for little walks and just try to take myself out of the situation for a little bit um 
because I've been in the house so much taking care of the boys. So, um, and that seems to be helping. It's helping me. Um, it's, and it's helping the boys and Miggy's doing really good. Um, I don't think he's a hundred percent yet, but he's doing really good. Um, so, um, thanks everybody who still sent de donations to help with the boys vet bills. I appreciate it so much. Um, it helped re relieve some of the enormous stress I was feeling. So thank you guys so much for that because Miggy getting sick was very unexpected. And if you guys remember, I think I mentioned, um, sorry, my eyes are watering. <laughs> um, I think I mentioned in one of my videos that last year getting all the boys dentals plus Marley having to have that bump removed, Mozzie's every three months blood work. He has to have done which he's going Monday. I have to take him Monday for that. Um, we really depleted our backup funds we had for the boys in case of emergency situations like this. So thank you guys so much um, for helping us out. We really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I know I'm forgetting to say some things I want to say, but thought and I'm sitting here for a long time, 11 minutes. So my car is warmed up now. <laughs> uh oh, Mr. Grant did great. Um, I finally got the car seat uh, hooked up right in the back seat and he did great in the car seat. Um, he wanted out of it. Let me tell you, he, he's very fidgety. Um, but he did great. And I took some video of that when I took him to the, uh, vet. So I'll put that here at the end of the video. Just want to make this quick video. Um, just to kind of update everybody on some stuff that's going on. Maybe you don't know how to get to our community page here on YouTube. Maybe you don't have a Facebook. So just wanted to kind of update a little bit, but um, so far, fingers crossed, things are going good. So let me put that little clip of Grant here at the end in his car seat, and we'll talk to you guys again as soon as I can. All right, guys, bye. I don't know when this video will be up, but I wanted to film Grant. We're on our way to get him more fluids due to his pancreatitis. And I wanted to show him in his car seat. It's all hooked up and he's in it properly this time compared to the last time I rushed him to the vet. Um, and he's, <coughs> excuse me, doing good. He's got his seat belt tether on, but see how he's fidgety? He wants to walk around. That's why he's got to be contained. So, all right, just wanted to film this for uh, whenever I can get another video out again.